Um, with the so-called, the seeming rise of noisy atheism, I'm wondering, Catherine, uh, how are you sure that there is no God? <clears throat> no God? And is there anything that would convince you uh, either to, to give up on atheism and become an agnostic or a theist or even a Christian? That's a really good question. Um, I'm, uh, I couldn't be a Christian because I'm intolerant of intolerance, but um, I don't think anyone could call themselves a 100% atheist. Um, I believe that, that there could be a God in the same way that I believe that there could be a tooth fairy, a Father Christmas or uh, an Easter bunny. So it's all, there's no proof to it. But it's not only the... So there's the, not an Easter bunny? I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> but tooth fairy? For me, I mean, you can talk <laughs> about proof and, 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 and there's no there. proof. I mean, one of the things that, that I always think about is, like, if God exists, why doesn't he show himself? But when you actually look at the Bible, um, which is, that's the only text that I'm, like, religious text that I'm really uh, familiar with, it is basically social engineering embedded in fairy tales and horror stories, which is just chock full of homophobia, misogyny, discrimination and division. Um, and most people haven't even read it. It has been written by 44 you know, 60 people, I think, 44 chapters, you know, three different languages over thousands of years, thousands of different interpretations. And despite all of those different interpretations, the only thing they can all agree on is homophobia, misogyny, discrimination and division. So I'm sorry, the way that I see it has just been a very, very handy way to keep people in their place, particularly okay. women homosexuals and people who don't believe what they believe. Right, let's hear from the rest of the panel and I'll come back to Peter Jensen. Um, do you believe in God? Uh, uh, no, I don't. But I don't actually think it matters. Uh, I think you uh, ought to live your life according to the, your own values, treat people uh, the way you want to be treated and live by those values. And uh, if there's a God, then they'll work it out if it's a problem for me. Uh, but uh, um, some people need spirituality, some people need belief. That's fine. It comforts people. That's their decision. Mine is I don't feel I need it. Uh, and uh, I try and live my life according to my own values, and I think that's all that matters. Conchetta. Thank you. Well, I, I do believe in God, and I'm very proud to believe in God, and indeed I know that there are millions of people around Australia who share my belief, and perhaps, you know, believing in, in God and in Christianity and the values and beliefs that come with it uh, for those as I call the chattering classes, may not be very fashionable. But can I say that I believe that there is a silent majority in this country that believes in the traditions that go with Christianity, that go with the tradition of marriage that is opposed to same-sex marriage, and they are the silent majority in this country. And it really irks me the way that, you know, people come along and just always rubbish God and Christianity. You know, do, do we hear you rubbishing, you know, Allah or Buddha or anybody like that? You know, give, give the Christians a break because there's millions because of them so in this country. I'm sorry, I really need to say uh, homosexuality, homosexuality is not a lifestyle choice. Religion is. Keep that in mind. Anna Crean. Sorry. <laughs> Anna Crean. <laughs> it's a tough one. You start yeah. with the basic question, do you believe in God? I'm pretty happy with a mystery. Uh, I think people who uh, belong to a certain religion desire certainty and I don't, don't sort of disagree with that desire. Um, people do want to have, they want to know, you know, want to know some of the rules and they want to have an idea of what's going to happen to them after and what's going to happen to them before. Um, and I think that's fine, but I'm quite pleasantly happy with uncertainty and a mystery. Um, mystery, Thanks, Peter Jensen. Um, yeah. Uh, well, let me just pick up on something that Catherine Devaney said earlier. Uh, why are there no more miracles? Um, why is it that only in biblical days people got the proof they required to mm. become Christians? Yeah. Oh. I, I'd like to see an arm grow back on or a head grow back on, you know. One of the things that always amazes me... No, 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 no. This is his... This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is really interesting. <laughs> no, I really Come on, would. is an interesting if, person. If, if that's, that, that would answer my question if I Catherine, saw that. Catherine... I'd like, right. to, I'd like to. I'm going to Go give on. the last word to Peter Go Jensen on this subject. Okay. Uh, has God shown himself? Yes, I believe he has, and I believe he's shown himself in Jesus Christ. I believe, if you want to know, examine his life, examine what he said, examine his miracles, and that's where the big issue is. Come back to Jesus Christ and examine his life, examine what he said, examine what's around him. 
Uh, I have to say that Catherine's account of the Bible is as fanciful as a tooth fairy. Uh, it's got no bearing on you the reality of the it. Bible. Yeah, I've read it a bit. And uh, <laughs> really, the big, look, I'll tell you what, the big story of the Bible is just as simple as anything. Jesus Christ came into the world to save us. And he is God amongst us. What more could we ask? It's all, I'll tell you what, it's the most gracious. This is, I'm so sorry you've got your you view You said what it. more could we ask? Equality. That would be good. Well, we've got it because every I'm man I'm sorry, and a white middle-class man like you does have every... it. Try being disabled. Uh, try okay, being an right, asylum seeker. Try being gay. Sorry, try no, no, being no, no, a woman. Okay, You'll right. find it's not there. Sorry, I said we give him the last word. I didn't yeah, mean... Yeah, well, I think... I think the last the word, word is that in Jesus Christ we have that equality and in Jesus Christ we have that salvation. And all I can say is the most wonderful... The, the love of God for everyone, no matter who they are, no matter how, how they've lived or whatever, is the greatest reality in the world. Okay, we're ending tonight with a kind of blessing. We thank our panel, Chris Evans, Catherine Devaney, Peter Jensen, Anna Crean and Conchetta Ferravanti-Wells. <laughs>